What's going on guys? So iOS 26.1 is official release and let's go ahead and go in depth and look at all the new features and new changes that Apple made for this new firmware update. So of course timestamps to everything will be in the video description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. So here it is installed on my iPhone 17 Pro and we're going to go ahead and compare it against the non-beta version of iOS 26 right over here. So one of the new features that's like getting a lot of headlight attentions right now can be located in settings. In the setting toggle, if you go down into display, right here, display and brightness, we now have the ability to actually decide if we want a clear or tinted liquid glass experience. So by enabling the tint, your control center will look like this and liquid will be much more transparent. This applies throughout the entire UI as well. So when viewing videos, photos, or just navigating your iPhone in general, you will notice the liquid glass being more liquidy, but you could reverse back if you think it's too much to tint. It even shows you a little preview on how that looks like right there. Another new change can be located actually right here on the top. You see, if I go into the display and brightness on the older device right over here, it used to feature the old iOS 18 wallpaper. Now we finally have the 26 wallpaper feature in our display settings. Odd that Apple didn't do that on day one, but now you know. Now the next new change can be located actually in the settings. And if you scroll down to the Apple Intelligence and Siri section, the top portion has been also redesigned because previously on iOS 26, in the same menu, it used to say beta up here right above. Let me lower the brightness real quick to match the other iPhone. But now we actually have a new updated format layout of the Apple Intelligence. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better and no longer says beta. The reason why it no longer says beta because Apple Intelligence now support more additional languages than ever before. Now it actually supports Dutch, Norwegian, Portuguese, Swedish, traditional Chinese, and so much more. The complete list is right there. But since it now supports those languages on the iPhone, you see if you pick up a pair of AirPod Pros 3, third generation, or you're using the second generation of the AirPod Pros, if we exit out of here and we make sure our AirPod connects to our device and we tap on it, keep in mind this also supports the AirPods 4 active noise cancellation. But if you go down to live translation, right here in languages, you'll see those newly added languages supported now on the AirPods. So pretty cool. Additionally, another new feature that Apple integrated is now you have the ability to finally lock this camera if your device is locked. By going back into our iPhone settings and scrolling down to camera right in here, if you scroll down and look for a camera lock, you'll see by default, well mine was enabled by default, there's now a new toggle that says lock screen swipe to open camera. So if I disable this and we lock our device, it no longer will allow me to actually quickly have access to the camera app. But if you have the toggle on your lock page, you still have the ability to act, access it that way. So this will mean if I go ahead and hit edit and tap customize, and I decide on removing that camera shortcut and replace it with something else in the example, it will no longer have gave me quick access to the camera app anymore. So you can remove it permanently if you like. But unlocking our device, another new change can actually be located in the music app. The music app for Apple Music received a lot of new updates too. You see down here, where I'll previously just show you the song I was currently playing, if you look closely, we now have a new gesture control where you can now quickly switch between the next track by just simply swiping your finger like so. Let me go ahead and enable light mode real quick to give you a better visualization how that looks like. There you go. Now you can see how quickly we could switch between tracks by simply doing that. Because if we look at it before in the past, it didn't give us that ability at all. And then the animation has also been tweaked here as well as there's like a smoother transition to the next track or the previous track. Then on the three dots, on the go to, the go to has also been updated, where previously before it will only default to album. Now you can select go to, you can select playlist, album, or go to the artist. More selection options right here. 
Then when using Apple Music and you're trying to pair an iPhone to be the microphone for a karaoke, I have noticed an improvement here as the phone can now connect a lot more quicker and it's a lot less buggier because now it actually does connect previously. Sometimes it wouldn't connect to the microphone or the animation would glitch or not work at all. It seems like Apple resolved it and now it's actually consistent and good. And a broken animation that was my complaint on iOS 26 has been resolved as well because now if we do this and we tap on the song that's playing it does like a smoother transition animation now and then when toggling the music and haptic feedback music feature uh, it's a lot more smoother as well then on the phone app the keyboard also got updated as well now it looks more liquid glass than previously it used to default with this gray number background it looked really bad it didn't really match the liquid glass design like it does now and then also when reviewing a video notice how the scrub bar actually got updated as well before it was just a default line now you have like this cool little toolbar additional now you have this cool additional design right there so you can actually view exactly where the timeline is and then in terms of security updates, I do recommend updating to this version of iOS 26.1 due to the fact that it is known there's a bunch of security patches and improvements from like bots and such. So if you're concerned about that, I would highly recommend at least being updated to this. From my personal experience, I haven't experienced anything massive, any bugs, even while testing the beta of these early developer betas of iOS 26.1. So from my experience, it is worth updating if that makes sense again it is a beta you do this at your own risk but my experience has been positive to the point where i even forgot that I was even on a beta in the first place so the official release should be extremely solid upon this upon its arrival basically and in terms of battery life i haven't noticed a decrease on battery life performance or anything like that on my iphone 17 pro even the misses on her 17 pro max she hasn't noticed any decrease in battery performance or anything like that so it's been pretty solid. Again, it's not a massive like firmware update like iOS 18 to iOS 26 was where it was super buggy and unreliable. This one has been pretty solid to the most part. And even the official version should be perfect. If the beta was this smooth is what I'm trying to say, the official release of iOS 26.1 should be perfect. I don't see any issues, at least that I've seen on these latest generation iPhones. Even on my uh, older iPhone, like this iPhone 15 Pro as an example, I haven't noticed any issues after I installed it or after I recorded this video. So pretty good so far, but I do recommend updating for security patches. And these new features are just nice little bonuses, I gotta say. But other than that, there you guys have it. Now you are up to date on all the new features I got recently released for everybody else on this Liz update of iOS 26.1. If you wish to watch more and you happen to own an Apple TV, I go in greater detail on all the new changes and hidden features that's now enabled on the Apple TV. Check it out right over there where I also show you a creative way to enable a better, much better keyboard than the native one that Apple gives you by default. All that and more in that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.